Yo, so we're back with another one, and today we got Looney Tune characters. We're going from best ever to not even great. Let's get straight into it. Beaky Buzzard, yo, I love the sarcasm. I love the monotone, I don't care attitude of bro bro. So we're going into very cool. You snapping out the world and never coming back if you don't put Bugs Bunny is the best ever. Bugs Bunny deserves all the praise. He is like one of the goats of cartoon animation. In my opinion, my humble opinion, I give it to Bugs Bunny. I give it to Bugs Bunny. My boy Cecil Turtle. He is like an updated clone of Beaky. I can't cap. That's true. Like, look at, they look exactly the same. Just different animals. But if I gotta say that, then I gotta say the same about Daffy Duck about Bugs Bunny, because they are iconic duos. Well, not, they're not iconic, but this is one iconic duo right here i don't i don't see it being broken other than like batman or superman or like goku or vegeta those are the people i'm comparing these two characters to you know i have no clue at all who this is i'm sorry it's like a donkey duck or something like that i, I don't know elma fudd wabbit season always hitting at the duck man i love elma fudd man i used to laugh every time he came on but he's gonna be very cool he's gonna be at the top of the list very cool ah I, I, I say i say i say i say man my father grew up on this man right here so i'm putting him in super awesome i don't like the phrase super awesome but we're putting him in super awesome gosmer is a background character and i don't know why he's on a i don't know why he's on a list and some others are not especially this donkey thing i feel like we could have had different people on the list other than this donkey and gosmer but since gosmer's on here he's pretty good he needs more screen time baby hawk oh man what's his name i forgot the baby hawk's name but i like his charisma he's going right next to the daddy or is it his uncle i don't know but i just know you know i love his charisma marvin the martian if y'all don't know this game called multiverses i play it a lot and i'm starting to play marvin in multiverses and i'm i, I like his fighting style so it got me looking into more marvin like um episodes and Looney Tunes. And Marvin's pretty funny. Marvin's pretty funny. So I'm going to put him right next to the hawk. Pepe Le Pew. Now people try to cancel Pepe. I rock with him just because like I was a child when I watched this and like you can't change my opinion on what I thought. So like, you know, I, I still rock with Pepe just how I used to. And he's going in the top of super awesome. Oh no, I can't I can't put him in super awesome. He's going to the top of very cool just because of like the controversy. He's like, bro, it's low key a little pet. <sighs> oh man. Alright, but let's let's keep on going. Porky pig, man. The GOAT, OG Porky. He's going straight into best ever. If that's the top three, that's the top three. I got one more for um best ever, but I'm gonna save that until we get there. Roll Runner. Wiley Coyote and the Roll Runner gotta go in the same spot. No? Yeah, I feel like they have to go like in identical spots just because their show is this show is like together. And like whatever, like they couldn't have the Roll Runner without Wiley Coyote and vice versa. Hmm. But where would you put them? I'm gonna have to say we're going we're going to put them in the bottom of Super Awesome because I don't want to keep replacing the top of Very Cool. Sylvester and Tweety is the same exact thing. I like that the continuity in Looney Tunes is so easy because like you can't have Bugs without Elma Fudd. You can't have Daffy without Porky Loki. You can't have Tweety without Sylvester. And you can't have Roll Runner without Wiley Coyote. Some of these things just go together so well that it's like, dang, Looney Tunes is. Okay, let's get back to this. I'm, I'm just ranting now. So we're gonna put these two exactly where we put the last two. But I, I feel like Tweety, I feel like Tweety's going right here. And Sylvester, Sylvester can go in front of the hawk. That's looking great right now. I, I tend to put my tier list in order. So to me, that's looking great right now. Peter Gonzalez is going to be very cool. Other than his catchphrase and, a, and knowing that he's a fast mouse or rat, that's all I know of him. And here we go. Best ever Taz. I used to have so much Taz memorabilia. It's crazy. So if I didn't put him on this list on best ever, I'm just lying to myself. I love Taz, man. He's so chaotic, crazy, man. He has so much to love from him. Which, pretty good. And the last character on my list. Mr. Yosemite Sam himself. I have a good mind to put him in best ever, but no, 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 no. If if they had him in multiverses, other than like a ring out as a character, he would have been best ever. I would have did some research on him. I would have did all I need to do just to love him again. But until that day, I'm putting him at the top of Super Awesome. I need more of Yosemite Sam because he is, he is low-key a background character. If Elma Fudd is not there, then it's Yosemite Sam. 
so yeah that's my list right there hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and if y'all have any suggestions on the video i should do just put it down in the comments down below make sure you like subscribe and i'll see you next time i can be that nigga that they don't want